Добрый день. Good morning, dear colleagues. Today is the 20th of April, 2022. It's 11 a.m. Moscow time. Let me declare open a session of the Citation Council for the Defense of Thesis by Pronicheva Maria Mikhailovna for the degree of Candidate of Psychology. Academic Specialty 536, Clinical Psychology. On the theme, Mental Maladjustment and Disorders of Social Perception in Primary and Secondary School Teachers. Immediately after starting our session, I have to call a technical break. A technical break number one is on.
Уважаемые коллеги. Dear colleagues, the technical break number one is over. And let us continue the session of the Dissertation Council by the order of the Academic Secretary of St. Petersburg University, Gniotov Alexander Valentinovich, dated the 1st of February 2022, number 612-1, me, uh, Shulkova Olga Yurevna, Doctor of Psychology Professor, Acting Head of the Department of Medical Psychology and Psychophysiology of St. Petersburg University, was appointed Chairman of this Dissertation Council. The same order approved other members of the Dissertation Council, and let me introduce them to you. Zishirinska Oksana Vladimirovna, Doctor of Psychology, Associate Professor, Associate Professor of the Department of Pedagogy and Education and Psychology of St. Petersburg University, Rybnikov, Viktor Yurievich, Doctor of Medicine, Doctor of Psychology, Honored Scientist of the Russian Federation, Professor, Deputy Director for Scientific and Educational Work, Disaster Medicine of All Russian Center for Emergency and Radiation Medicine, Ministry of uh, Russian Federation for Civil Defense, Emergencies, and Elimination of Consequences of Natural Disasters. Ilya Slabotchikov, Doctor of Psychology, Professor, Head of the Laboratory of Psychological and Pedagogical Support for Creative Personality Development of Institute of Artistic Education and Cultural Studies of Russian Academy of Education. Jiga Nadezhda Dmitrievna, Doctor of Psychological Sciences, Professor, Professor, Chair of Psychology and Physical Education of of Baranovichi, what's the right way to say it? Baranovichi State University, Belarus. The degree applicant is also present, Bronicheva Maria Mekarna also the academic supervisor of the applicant, Doctor of Psychology, Professor, Head of Psycho Hygiene and Psycho Prophylactic Laboratory of the National Medical Research Center for Psychiatry and Mycology, Buligina Vera Gennadievna. In order to improve the quality of communication, I beg your pardon for those Working in the remote access mode, fortunately, all the council members are present. Let me inform you that our session is being recorded and broadcast live at St. Petersburg University website. The speeches are being simultaneously translated from Russian into English. During the broadcast of the council session at the moment, an email is displayed To which, all the, during this session, anyone can send questions to the applicant and their opinions regarding the content of the thesis and the applicant's presentation, the ongoing scientific discussion of the thesis, and thus take part in the discussion. These questions shall be forwarded to me by our technical support department and I shall present them during the discussion. Questions should be related strictly to the applicant's speech, the content of her thesis, and it's mandatory to indicate full name, position, and place of employment. Questions that are not related to the scientific discussion. And anonymous questions should not be presented in accordance with the order of awarding at St. Petersburg University the degree of Candidate of Sciences and Doctor of Sciences approved by the local regulations of St. Petersburg University here and after the order. A session of the Dissertation Council shall be considered competent if at least two thirds of the appointed Council members are present but not less than four persons. This council consists of five persons. All five are present. Thus, we have the quorum. 
I invite the officer of the Visitation Council Activity Support Department, Natalia Alexandrovna, to draw up the attendance list. Let me set forth the following procedure of today's session with total duration of approximately two hours. First, summary report of the chairman on the applicant and documents submitted by the applicant and their compliance with applicable regulations. Answers to possible questions, approximately five minutes. Summary report of the applicant outlining the key points of her research approximately 15 minutes. Questions to the applicant strictly related to her presentation, no more than two minutes. Answers of the applicant. At that, Maria Mikhailovna decided to answer the questions asked by the council members and remarks after each review is presented because it was also possible to uh, answer all questions at once in the end of the review presentation speeches of all members of the council members with their assessment of the thesis and the applicant's speech and questions uh, suggestions to the applicant approximately 10 minutes for each speaker each council member especially the chairman with her assessment of the thesis approximately 10 minutes as well as i mentioned already there will be answers of the degree applicant to comments and questions asked by the council members after each review is presented. That shall be followed by the open discussion and attendees present may come up with their opinions, specific questions and suggestions to the applicant strictly on the topic of the thesis. No more than five minutes for each speaker. At that, all the speakers are kindly requested to register on the registration sheet and introduce themselves before speaking. Next, the chairman shall present questions received sent to the applicant during the scientific discussion, live broadcast at the scientific of the dissertation council session. Questions sent to St. Petersburg University website. These questions should not take uh, over two minutes and answers of the applicant, approximate also two minutes for each question. Speech of the thesis supervisor. That should take not more than three minutes. Discussion by the council members before open individual voting of the defense results. For that period, sound shall be switched off approximately five minutes. After that, we'll proceed to individual open voting. Votes shall be counted by the chairman and recorded in the minutes of the meeting. <coughs> Make a decision on awarding or not awarding the degree. And finally, closing remarks of the applicant, no more than two minutes. Dear council members, do you have any questions or objections to this procedure? If nobody has any questions, let's proceed. Please switch off your mobile phones. Let us start the session summary report of the chairman. The thesis by Bronicheva Maria Mikhailovna for the degree of candidate of psychology. Academic specialty 
536 Clinic Psychology on the topic Mental Maladjustment and Disorders of Social Perception in Primary and Secondary School Teachers was accepted for defense by the order of Academic Secretary of St. Petersburg University uh, dated the 14th of January 2022, number 138-1. Bronicheva Maria Mikhailovna carried out her study on the basis of the National Medical Research Center of Psychiatry and Ecology, named Dr. Serbsky, under the uh, supervision of Doctor of Psychology Professor, Head of Laboratory of Psycho Hygiene and Psychoprophylaxis of the uh, Serbsky National Medical Research Center of Psychiatry and Ecology, Buligina Vera The number of publications which set forth the main res scientific result of the thesis, according to the enclosed list, is nine. In peer-reviewed scientific journals, from the list approved by the Ministry of Education and Science of Russian Federation, seven publications in journals indexed in the Scientometric Databases, Web of Science and Scopus, two publications. All the documents submitted by the applicant, according to the information I received from the curator, comply with the requirements of St. Petersburg University and are kept in the evidence attestation file. Copies are also available from the Decision Council Activity Support Department. Natalia Alexandrovna, before I give the floor to the applicant, let me ask the council members, dear colleagues, do you have any general questions to the applicant? And is it necessary to review the entire list of documents submitted by the applicant? No, that's not, not necessary. Do you agree? Yes, I do. Thank you. In that case, dear Maria Mikhailovna, the floor is yours. And you have 15 minutes, Shaw. Uh, dear council members, dear uh, chairman, dear guests. This is a defense report on the thesis Mental Disadaptation and Social Perception Disorders in Primary and Secondary School Teachers. The particular relevance of mental and physical health promotion in relation to workers in the education sector is determined by the negative dynamics of these indicators which are largely represented by problems of maladaptation and occupational stress. 60% of teachers have neurotic disorders related to professional activity, and almost 90% have pre disease level of health disorders, and 44 have signs of nosologically delineated pathological disorders, both somatic and mental, emotional disturbances such as neurotic disorders. According to the 2020 data, 70% of teachers were found to have symptoms of emotional burnout. It is shown that teachers who have worked remotely in the pandemic were characterized by higher rates of anxiety and depression. It was revealed that more emotional burnout syndrome, or EBS, is expressed in teachers the more they use passive, antisocial, and aggressive models of coping behavior. 63% of teachers display verbal aggression, 34 display physical aggression, 15 hidden aggression, 30% children report that they suffer violence, including from teachers. Teachers are responsible for creating a supportive environment to the children with special needs, namely developing and mastering and applying modern psychological and pedagogical technologies based on the knowledge of laws of personal development and behavior in the real virtual environments. The increased workload on teachers, as well as the new form of work under the pandemic and current conditions, led to increased risk of developing increasing rates of professional stress and emotional burnout. The issue of psychological well-being and health of teachers actualizes the task of clarifying the criteria for assessing severity of mental disadaptation to identify the risk groups for the development of professional stress and emotional burnout among teachers. An analysis of the extent to which the problem has been developed has shown that factors and mechanisms of social perception in teachers depend on the level of professional stress have not been an independent subject uh, of research to date. We can point out only at specific works devoted to the study of social perception and that in the mental ill. Data on mental and somatic health of teachers and the effects of occupational stress determine the high scientific and practical relevance of developing this problem within the framework of medical psychology. 
Because of that, the aim of the study was to assess severity of mental maladaptation and related disorders of social perception and mechanisms among the teachers of basic general education to develop a system of primary and secondary prevention to ensure the safety of the educational environment. In accordance with the objective, the following tasks were set. Let us not uh, let us not list the task. The task will be uh, discussed further. Uh, the uh, object and subject of my study are shown in this. So the following hypotheses have been put forward. There's a direct link between severity of occupational stress and impaired social perception mechanism. Deficient components of social perception are associated with the risk of developing emotional burnout syndrome. The methodological basis for the study were concepts of regulation mechanisms in normal team pathology paradigms in the study of psychological stress, concepts of international perception and understanding of uh, teacher perception, teacher perception and understanding of student personality, concepts of mechanisms of social perception and social cognition. The main theoretical co constructs of the study were psychiatric um, uh, adaption and professional stress and emotional burnout syndrome and social perception. In identifying the necessary constructs of social perception for analysis, a cognitive approach was used, which operationalized the phenomenology, mechanism of understanding, personality perception, human behavior. People's cognition and understanding of each other includes stereotyping, empathy, and emotional intelligence. It should be pointed out that in identification is included in the process of empathy. Cognition is, is, is includes of other people. A total of 173 social workers were surveyed. The characteristics of age and length are shown in the table. 111 teachers were from schools of Moscow, Chekhov, and Saratov. The first comparison group was represented by speech therapists and trainers working with children 7, 18 uh, with disabilities. The second comparison group was teachers working with children with disabilities. Stages of the study are presented in this slide and will be further explained and disclosed in the course of my report. The methodology package is shown in this slide. In terms of practical application, uh, assessing severity of stress, diagnosis of emotional burnout, and assessment of social perception mechanism. Due to a lack of methods to investigate the mechanisms of social perception, the following tools were created. A diagnostic tool was used uh, on ranking grid uh, uh, pupil, uh, he student, she student, and economic performance. Was on the uh, ranking grid, it was proposed to rate each element on 17 constructs given by two poles from this organized minus three to organized plus three. The questionnaire conflict situations designed to investigate processes of causal attribution by assessing proposed conflict situations related to the work environment and the interaction of the teacher with the student, parents, or administration uh, by the attribute responsibility. In the first stage of the study, we highlighted the features of social perception specific to teachers in general education based on the comparative analysis with other representatives of social professions. More than a third of educators have a high index of uh, symptom of severity and distress. It should be noted that the teachers groups is characterized by higher rates of symptomatic distress response compared to the other groups. Almost a third have high rates of somatization, depression, and distress symptoms. Prevalence of these symptoms was low in the comparison groups is greater in educational teachers. Uh, we revealed that teachers with a high level of professional stress and emotional burnout have a high index of distress in more than 60% of cases, and in half of the cases, symptoms of somatization, depression, and anxiety are observed. Checking the distribution of maladaptation using the uh, criterion in group of lecturers with different levels of professional stress yeah, showed that they were distributed not randomly. In more than a half of cases, these signs are marked in a group with high professional stress and high level of emotional burnout. This allowed us to move from researching the phenomena of mental maladaptation directly to analysis of methodology and uh, more organized uh, constructs such as emotional burnout system and professional stress. We revealed that the stress response of general education teachers is characterized by the predominance of self-blaming attitude and negative affective state, experiencing feelings of anger, and also by the presence of irrational and inadequate reactions. Uh, 
and pronounced internal anxiety. They are significantly differentiated by prevalence of symptoms such as inadequate selective response and reduction in professional responsibilities which correspond to the resistance states. The data analysis revealed significant differences in the parents' stereotyping and uh, in the groups analyzed. Teachers tend to assess students through the prism of their academic status. The prevalence towards female students is uh, active, educated, industrious, independent, and towards male students is personal attitudes oriented towards social states and compliance with social regulations, educated and leader. At the same time, teachers attribute the main reason for a student's failure to his personal qualities, which simplifies the process of professional reflection on performance. In the second stage of the study, we identified social perception disorders in general education teachers depending on severity of the occupational stress, age, and length of professional service. The generalized sample was divided by clustering into two groups with low level of occupational stress and high level of occupational stress, according to the results of the occupational studies. Tests uh, followed by separation of social perception depending on age and um, employment history. This is a volition about the professional formation of personality. Regardless of the presence of signs of occupational stress, teachers demonstrate predominance of procedural and personal stereotypical attitudes towards students with age, depending on their gender and academic success. Teachers with pronounced occupational stress of early and middle adulthood, as well as of pre-retirement, retirement age, are characterized by outwardly blaming attitude and confident situations, late adulthood by self-blaming attitude. Teachers whose professional experience corresponds to the stage of learning and acceptance of their profession are more likely to have stereotypical attitudes towards failing students and to maintain a neutral stance in conflicts with students. The results of the first two stages led to the first scientific statement. Universal characteristics of social perception for general education teachers are the predominance of procedural and personal stereotype uh, typical attitudes towards students depending on their gender and academic success. High levels of occupational stress and dominance in the stress response of inadequate selective responses and reductions in occupational duties are associated with reduced ability to manage one's emotions and analyze one's life experiences with the appearance of diversity in the psychological characteristics when uh, assessing male students with attribution of academic failure to the personal qualities of the students. At the next stage of this study, significant differences were revealed and mechanisms of social perception in teachers, taking into account the severity of professional stress and emotional burnout syndrome. Four groups of teachers were uh, identified depending on the severity of professional stress and emotional burnout. The method of factor analysis uh, specific uh, uh, very max rotation was applied to determine the mechanism of social perception. Mechanisms of social perception in teachers with low level of professional stress and low level of burnout include competence in emotional communication, full emphatic exchange based on the personal emotional experience. In teachers with low levels of occupational stress and high levels of SES, social perception may include focus on others' emotions, ability to manage, understand the emotion, and control the expression. The is ontogenic reflection, emotional responsiveness. In teachers with high level of professional stress and low level of emotional burnout, the mechanisms of social perception include ability to understand and manage their own and others' emotions, combination of expression control and weak emotional response. In teachers with high level of professional stress and high level of emotional burnout, the mechanisms of social perception include ability to manage and understand the emotion, control the expression, orientation to the emotions of the other. The results of the third stage of the study led to the formation of the second scientific statement. The mechanisms of social perception teachers of general education schools differ according to four variants of combination of high, low level of professional stress with informed or unformed burnout syndrome. These factors are low. There's no impairment of social perception mechanism. The high level of professional occupation stress is associated with weak emotional response. Formation of ETS is associated with them inability to respond emotionally. In case of uh, developed uh, symptoms, all the components of emotional intelligence are deficient. The fourth stage was aimed at determining the role of social perception in the formation of professional stress in general education teachers uh, in order to measure uh, the, uh, we apply discriminant analysis. 
As a result, their variables included in the model and their coefficients were reduced to formulas. The overall qualification of LDF was 92.8%. Characteristics of social perception, such as deficits in managing one's own emotions and responding emotionally to the experiences of others, the inconsistence of students' grades according to their gender and academic performance made a significant contribution to assign teachers to a group with a high level of occupational stress. As occupational stress builds up, teachers' ability to manage their emotions and analyze their life experience, supporting desirable emotions and restraining on the undesirable one decreases, and the variety of psychological characteristics used in assessment male statements emerges. In the, the fifth stage was devoted to the identification of informative psychological variables for understanding the risk group for the development of emotional burnout teachers. Uh, the, to assess the, uh, so we constructed uh, ROC curves. Uh, we found that the highest predictive value belongs to the symptomatic questionnaire method. The current uh, uh, is 0 0.82. In the next stage, a classification tree was constructed in order to identify the most significant indicators to predict the severity of SES in teachers. The most informative for predicting the risk of emotional teachers are high levels of symptomatic response to distress and professional stress, as well as high level of antigenic reflection. Based on the results of the last two stages and the third scientific statement was set forth. High levels of occupational stress contribute significantly to such characteristics of social perception as the ability to manage one's emotion, respond to the experiences of others and analyze one's life experiences and also so associated with uh, evaluations of students of different genders and academic performance. The most informative for predicting the risk of emotional burnout in teachers are high level of symptomatic response to distress and professional stress, as well as high level of ontogeny regression. The results of our study allowed us to set forth the practical, some practical recommendations shown in this slide concerning diagnostic methods and primary and secondary prevention of professional stress and emotional burnout in teachers of general education schools. Thank you. My report is over. Thank you, Maria Mikhailovna. Dear council members, do you have any questions to the applicant uh, regarding your presentation or your thesis? Do you have questions? Please. Oksana Vladimirovna, your question, please. Dear Maria Mikhailovna, could you kindly explain in the one of the first slides where said spoke about relevance uh, you provided some statistics on uh, psychiatric and somatic disorders among teachers what's the source of this data i beg your pardon dear Oksana Vladimirovna thank you for your question the source of this data are numerous studies conducted by our colleagues earlier. Can you be more specific? Unfortunately, at the moment I can't remember specific exact authors who conducted in the text of the thesis. Are, 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 are the names given? Yes, of course. And another question about the, I have a similar question about the consequences of emotional burnout. This statistics, is it social or uh, results of studies conducted by a public? Thank you for your question. Yes, these are study also these are also studies earlier conducted by our colleagues abroad and uh, in Russia. Because if these names, uh, if you included these names in your slides, I, uh, if this question wouldn't be there. Oksana Vladimirovna, will you? accept this answer uh, considering the fact that uh, references are given in the uh, thesis text but I have one more question please before the third scientific proposition uh, there was one uh, information rich slide yes here it is Could you please comment on this slide because I think it is very important. Uh, I understand that we all we have limited time, but don't worry, Oksana Vladimirovna. 
uh, please ask all the questions that you want. Thank you very much for this question. In this slide, you may see the classification tree built in order to identify the most significant indicators which uh, can predict uh, the level of emotional burnout in teachers. And in our opinion, the most informative are high indicators of professional stress and high level of ontogenetic reflection. So, that's it. Uh, I'll see. So, that's symptomatic response and reflection are the two indicators that help you in your work in the selection to study the risks of scientific maladjustment. Is it really so? Yes, it is. Thank you. I don't have any further questions. Ilya Mikhailovich. Yes, please. Thank you. Could you please go back to the slide uh, somewhere in the beginning where you listed this uh, mentioned the sense of isolation. Uh, you gave some percentage. You, you, it was before. It's, it came earlier. Let's take a look at this slide. I have a question regarding this slide. Yes, here it is, the sense of isolation. Could you kindly explain why this feeling emerges and how it manifests itself? The question is not accidental because in the context of the teaching profession, there are very specific professional deformities which are connected with in-depth feelings. So it's very interesting for me to know what's your, what's your opinion about this. Uh, well, the feeling of the feeling of isolation in this context is viewed uh, in relation to the quarantine measures introduced because of the pandemic. So many teachers, when questioned, uh, uh, called this a, a great problem. Thank you. So in that case, that's a situational story. Uh, you have not uh, you have not looked at it uh, in in a general sense. I see. Then I have one more question: With what are the groups? Have you compared teachers in terms of distress? Because you said that teachers, uh, as compared with other professional groups, if I remember correctly, with what other professions have you compared teachers? Uh, I will explain my question. We have a whole line of jobs. Uh, which generate distress, uh, just as much distress as teachers, psychologists, medi uh, uh, medical doctors, etc. So I'd like to hear your comment. Thank you for the question. We compared teachers in secondary schools with teachers uh, working uh, with children with disabilities, uh, teachers of inclusive education working at a social center and with uh, specialists working with children, with uh, s uh, speech therapists and co coaches. I'm not sure about spo about. Uh, I understand about uh, sports coaches. So this enabled us to include them in the group because they work with. Since they conduct their lessons at a Moscow sports school and they are working with quite severe disorders. So then why not music teachers or uh, art teachers uh, or psychologists? 
So we decided to include poachers because uh, they also have uh, a correction function as well as speech therapists. I see. Uh, I see. Thank you. And I have my third question, which is very short, is about empathy. In your work, we you look at empathy as a as a factor which, up to a certain point, prevents one from. And then, please relate, if you don't mind, the situation of empathy, emerging empathy, because it's always combined with these uh, symptoms of isolation and uh, all personal problems. So please relate empathy to stress. Uh, how would you what? How would you comment? How is uh, how can be traced in a population of medics? Thank you once again for the question. Empathy, in our case, reduces re in relation to uh, as the level of distress grows, and most likely because of fairly hard and rich. Uh, working conditions because teachers work with at least three groups these are teachers uh, and, and, and uh, staff and parents of course I see now Mr. Yurevich do you have questions? So. Maria Mikhailovna you frequently used two terms, uh, widespread and pronounced. So you speak about wide, widely spread. What is the difference between the two terms? Please explain. Being pronounced means how complete and how obvious these are that this or that phenomenon in our research subjects and widespread means a quantity of people in which these or that phenomenon can be found these are levels like high medium and level and widespread means like percentage of the general population and your population was 173 persons. So the term widespread maybe is not very good. And uh, because for that, uh, to use it, you need a bigger population, a bigger selection. Thank you, Viktor Yurevich. Thank you, dear colleagues. If we have no further questions, let us proceed to speeches of the dissertation council with their reviews and assessment of the thesis, the questions and suggestions to the applicant. Since all the reviews were published at St. Petersburg University website for preliminary review, uh, you can focus only on, on the key findings, questions and remarks to the applicant. But in any case, you have 10 minutes for your speech. So in any uh, format you find that you find appropriate. Let's start. Oksana Vladimirska-Zashirinskaya. Dear colleagues, uh, it's a it was a pleasure for me to read this thesis. And I think that indeed, the pedagogical neurotization is becoming more and more pronounced in digit, uh, digital age of education and the relevance of selection of this topic uh, is lies in the fact that neg uh, of the, the negative dynamics among teachers as well as general population which 
is uh, leads to problems studied by the applicant. As for validity of her results, these are uh, confirmed by the use of fundamental pro uh, propositions and the scope uh, and the size of the population sample, standardized uh, and valid methods, the use of uh, methods of qualitative and quantitative analysis. In the empirical part, the author described the uh, maladaptation procedure in teachers, explained peculiarities uh, and materials of the study, which are quite numerous. Uh, the list was nine uh, items law, was quite long. And uh, so all this is, come from, is uh, relates well with the goal and objectives of the study. Uh, corresponds to its tasks. The key provisions submitted for defense are based on empirical data obtained uh, through own diagnostic practice, which always looks good in a study, and also in the ability to describe the uh, modern concepts in this field, which is also reflected in the uh, detailed analysis of scientific literature which includes 280 items. In the end, the author managed to summarize the empirical results, identify uh, the promising aspects of preventive work among teaching staff. The con she made conclusions, and conclusions uh, relate well to goal and objectives of the study and uh, reflect the results well. Uh, I'd also like to mention the practical significance of this study because the data obtained on <clears throat> reaction to response to distress and social perception in teachers can be used uh, to develop individual programs of uh, primary and secondary prevention, which is also very important. I won't talk about the structure of the uh, thesis. It complies with all the requirements. Maybe one thing in the thesis itself, and today in the presentation, uh, would be good to have less typos. So let's proceed to questions and recommendations uh, of the thesis. So questions. Uh, how do questions uh, related to, relate to emotional intelligence, the data of other uh, their, emotion, uh, their emotional intelligence. The second question, how the results of the, uh, of the study, specific in teachers, the, uh, on the basis of comparative analysis with other representatives uh, dispersion, what was the impact? <coughs> the as age and uh, how was so which is shown in page 64.3. As I was a choice of, well, explain the choice of cluster analysis. Four, so which individual psychological characteristics considered by the author can act as targets for prevention work with educators in educational institutions? Please explain that. And a note on the relevance. So first, in the, uh, describing the uh, author says that in the second, so it has not been studied in the medical psychology. Please take a look at page seven. I think this statement requires some uh, validation uh, because uh, so emotional burnout has been discussed in uh, psychology many times. For example, from a chronic fatigue disorder and the relation between <coughs> burnout, uh, depression, etc. Second, uh, is a Y for uh, figures two and four, uh, called average values of indicators of the level of occupational stress in page 70 and figure four, uh, called um, a graph of uh, overall level of emotional burnout in page 75. Uh, why the author used pie charts? Because these data do not reflect uh, the fraction of uh, next the level of statistical significance of uh, differences in item 3.2, disorders of social perception, 
teachers of basic general secondary general education depending on severity of professional tests taking into account age and length of service is with high or so low levels of professional less the uh, information is not given <coughs> that's uh, pages 83 uh, not to 94 also I'd like to so the author it explains result brevity of results with uh, previously available studies in the scientific meta analysis and as uh, regarding re recommendation uh, the to make the work uh, more significant would be interesting to add a description of uh, future uh, diagnostic complex in the examined uh, population of teachers. The uh, conclusion, the thesis by Pronichva Maria uh, Mikhailovna on uh, psychological maladaptation and social perception uh, corresponds uh, to uh, the requirements set by the order on the, uh, the dated the 19th of November 2021 number 11181 slash one the order awarding academic degrees in St. Petersburg University. And the degree applicant, Pronichva Maria deserves awarding the degree of candidate of psychology, specialty 536, clinical psychology. Articles 9 and 11 of the above mentioned order has not been violated. Thank you. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. Dear Oksana Vladimirovna, Maria Mikhailovna, please answer questions and remarks by Oksana Vladimirovna. Dear Aksana Vladimirovna, uh, let me sincerely thank you for the uh, hard work of uh, reviewing my paper and your available comments. Uh, as for your comments, let me provide the following clarification. The first question, how the results obtained from the analysis of social perception Uh, relate to the measures of emotional intelligence in other in other studies. It should be noted that these studies reveal only some aspects of the relationship between emotional intelligence and emotional burnout. At the same time, it should be emphasized that the results of one study contradict the results of the other. Thus, in the work of Adila Gulari, Ulukan and Senel, 2013, a negative relationship between the emotional intelligence and the level of emotional burnout of teachers was revealed, and Fiorelli and others found a strong positive relationship between the emotional intelligence and their burnout. The results we obtain can be correlated with the research data of Adila Gulari and others, but the focus of our attention was not only on the role of the emotional intelligence, but also on the contribution of all social perception mechanisms to the formation of emotional burnout and professional stress. The question on how the results of the second stage of the study on identifying the features of social perception specific to teachers of basic general education and secondary general education based on a comparative analysis with other representative social professions were affected by the dispersion of the compared data. Since these indicators in the groups of teachers and representatives of other social professions were normally distributed, it's, uh, it's um, possible to conclude that there is no uh, dispersion in the compared group. The question for on, about the choice of the cluster analysis, the application of the cluster analysis method to uh, comparison group was conditioned by the need to use a statistical criterion to divide their data based on the occupational stress test into interpretable homogeneous groups. The question of how individual psychological characteristics considered by the author can act as targets for prevention work with educators in educational institutions. That the targets of primary psychoprophylaxis of professional stress and emotional burnout are the development of skills of self-regulation of emotional states, training in effective organization of personal time, as well as attitudes of young teachers towards students with low academic performance. Well, secondary prevention targets include developing skills in awareness and analysis of one's own psycho-emotional states, training the interpersonal sensitivity in social interaction, conflict management skills and developing cognitive and behavioral flexibility. 
the concept and relevance of phenomena of mental burnout to other psychological problems in medical psychology. Of course, you're right that the medical psychology has paid enough attention to the emotional burnout syndrome. Works focused either on relation of mental burnout with other psychological phenomena such as stress resistance or uh, extreme working conditions and uh, or on the study uh, of this phenomenon in separate categories of professional groups not related to the sphere of education. However, the role of social perception as an integral process in formation of emotional burnout has uh, not been a, a subject of research. Moreover, there were no attempts to assess the breaches of social perception mechanisms in teachers at primary and secondary schools depending on stress symptoms expression and emotional burnout syndrome formation. The questions on the use of pie charts for figures two and four which show the average values of indicators of the level of occupational stress and the overall level of emotional burnout in groups of examinees. The choice of pie charts was due to our intention to illustrate the correlation between the level of occupational stress and the overall level of emotional burnout among the representatives of different groups of examinees. A question about uh, the statistical significance uh, in uh, item uh, Article 3.4, disorders of, of secondary general education depend on severity of professional stress, considering their age and length of service. Yes, you are right. This is our mission. We should have indicated that we uh, took significant uh, equal to 0, 0 0.5 as the reference value. The results obtained in item 3.2. Disorders of social perception in teachers of basic, general, and secondary general education, depending on the severity of professional stress, uh, and, and uh, correspond to a statistical significance level le equal um, less or less than uh, zero point, and a comment on brevity, brief presentation of results, is compared with uh, the scientific meta-analysis method. We agree with this observation. A more detailed comparative analysis of the findings with previously available research would certainly enrich the work and made our judgments and conclusions more convincing. As for the recommendation for a more detailed description of the prospects of practical use of the diagnostic complex with the programs of primary and secondary prevention of emotional burnout, um, the excellent Vladimirna, you are certainly right. A more detailed description of the prospects of practical use of the diagnostic complex within programs of primary and secondary prevention of emotional burnout would add more scientific and practical significance to our work. These three uh, sci uh, psychodiagnostic blocks, ass assessment of stress, tension, emotional burnout syndrome, and assessment of social perception mechanisms can be used in a complex assessment of professional stress and emotional burnout level to identify the risk groups, to provide a qualified preventive work with teachers, and to maintain a favorable psychological climate at work. Thank you, Rim Kalvna. So are you satisfied with the answers? Yes, thank you very much. I got all the answers I needed, wanted. Then let me pass the floor. Uh, to Dr. Yurovich for his review. Uh, dear Chairman, dear Council Members, dear uh, Vera Gennadyevna, Natalia Alexandrovna, the uh, uh, relevance of this work is beyond any doubt, and though the work is dedicated to emotional burnout and professional stress among uh, teachers, there is types of teachers uh, that, uh, that does not de diminish uh, relevance of this work. The educational environment is changing and the learners are changing uh, too. And this uh, increases the level of responsibility of primary and secondary school teachers and the stress factors with which they have to deal, including so the social factors uh, and so the uh, level of social protection, remuneration factor uh, does not uh, correspond to what's happening 
and many works are dedicated to uh, well, the condition of um, uh, maladaptation and because of that this work is highly relevant and its relevant is, relevance is confirmed uh, as, was, as was performed as a part of state task the National uh, Psychiatry Research Center uh, the task on, uh, on the task of the Ministry of Health The scientific novelty of the work lies in the fact that Maria Mikhailovna, in her work, identified typical uh, in uh, secondary and primary school teachers mechanisms of social uh, maladaptation depending on gender, length of service, and subject that they teach. She demonstrated these mechanisms, demonstrated selective response and reduction of professional responsibilities connected with experience, length of service, and age, identified mechanisms of social perception, uh, professional stress, and symptoms of professional burnout. These data uh, have not only theoretical but also practical significance uh, for running uh, primary and secondary prevention programs which can reduce the risks of social maladaptation or psychological maladaptation under the influence of professional stress in teachers and make their education environment safer. The results of the study are presented in three re uh, sets of recommendations is uh, 10 articles in peer reviewed so the work uh, has been widely tested yet when reading the work i got the following questions or comments first uh, how does the author see uh, what does the author think about uh, uh, implementation of results of this study um, uh, prevention for prevention in primary and secondary school teachers in other words who uh, should do what and where to help the state. Second, according to our opinion, the author often uh, confuses the term education with the term educational uh, educator, uh, which is only three times used in the law of education in the context of a social educator. So the correct term would be the education worker and as a, uh, on the basis of uh, her study the applicant came up with two recommendations I think she should have given uh, recommendations to improve qualification of medical workers and heads of educational organizations of primary secondary and general education to assess and prevent emotional burnout and professional stress among their staff in uh, when the teaching staff so these data can also be used uh, to update some uh, articles of the federal law of the law of education russian federation and uh, the author has not uh, assessed uh, the, uh, so which could mobility rates which could be implemented on the questionnaire the questions and comments do not reduce the uh, overall high quality of the work which certainly deserves positive uh, assessment conclusion uh, the thesis by Prince America on the theme psychological maladaptation and uh, disruption of social perception in primary and secondary school teachers can uh, submitted for the degree of candidate psychology specialty 536 clinical psychology corresponds to the requirements set by the order dated the uh, 19th of November 2021 uh, 11181 on the order of awarding academic degrees at St. Petersburg State University and the degree applicant Maria Minifalna Provincia deserves awarding degree of candidate of psychology specialty 536 clinical psychology 
Articles 9 and 11 of the above-mentioned order has not been violated. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Viktor Yurovich. So please, uh, what, what, are, what are your answers? V Dear Viktor Yurovich, let me sincerely thank you for hard work in reviewing my thesis and for your available comments. As for the comments made by you, with which I absolutely agree, let me give the following clarifications. The first question about the prospects of implementing the results of this study on prevention of maladaptive neuropsychiatric conditions and somatic stress cells and disorders in primary and secondary school teachers. Results of our research and direct interaction with teachers emphasize the importance of preventing the risks of emotional burnout and professional stress in teachers. But despite the already available experience of organizing various psychological centers, hotlines, short-term trainings uh, for emotional burnout prevention, including those in the educational sphere, there is still no system of psychological support of teachers in the general education sphere. We believe that such work is necessary and should be implemented both on the basis of schools but and outside of them. It's necessary to create centers for psychological aid where teachers could come uh, with their problems. When uh, in speaking of specialists who could provide such assistance to teachers, priority should, in our opinion, be given to clinical psychologists when it comes to the prevention of maladaptive neuropsychological conditions and somatic stress-associated diseases. Based on the results of our work, we prepared methodological recommendations, the methodology of assessment of social professional stress in professional social sphere, as well as, an, uh, uh, as a, a teaching manual, prevention of emotional burnout in professionals in social sphere, where stress resistance training, coping with negative emotions, communication trainings are described in details. It should be added, the Ministry of Health and Ministry of Education have jointly decided to hold distance learning cycles for teachers in all regions of the Russian Federation under the additional professional stress among primary and secondary school teachers as the basis of prevention, psychological and educational and medical uh, <clears throat> and uh, emergency situations. Question about the use of uh, educator and education process and education environment. In our work, so we look at the as a integral part of the learning environment, but we don't do not equate these categories. Uh, this term pedagogical worker by the order of Minister of Labor dated the eighteenth of october twenty thirteen number fifty four four uh, with amendments uh, dated the twenty fifth of December approved professional center and pedagogue pedagogical activity in the sphere of preschool, primary general, basic general, second general education. Therefore, we consider it appropriate to use the term. The question about the prospects of practical application of the results of the thesis, consisting in the formulation of practical recommendations to improve the skills of teachers, psychologists, health workers, and heads of educational organizations of basic general and secondary general education in terms of assessment and prevention of emotional burnout, professional stress, preservation of somatic and mental health of teachers. As mentioned earlier, we have prepared methodological recommendations concerning the algorithm of diagnostics, the level of professional stress and emotional burnout, the additional professional programs have been created and a training guide has been come. Uh, uh, the Ministry of Education is currently receiving more requests from uh, teachers and heads of institutions for medical examinations of teachers, including questions on the need of psychiatric examination of teachers, both when they take up employment and also periodically during their employment, uh, initi initiated an interdepartmental discussion on this issue between representative Ministry of Education, Minister of Health and Minister of Labor with the participation of National Research Institute uh, of Psychiatry and Ecology, the following dec decisions were to clarify the list of medical psychiatric contraindications for certain types of professional activity approved by the decree uh, of the Council of Ministers, Government of Russian Federation of the 28th of April, 1993. Consider amending the order of the Ministry of Labor 
and the Ministry of Health dated the 31st of December 2020 uh, in 98.8n, which approved the list of harmful and or hazardous production factors and jobs for which compulsory preliminary medical examinations upon entry into employment and periodic medical examinations are performed. And uh, the, uh, to clarify order number 29, the Ministry of Health dated the 20th uh, procedure and conducted obligatory preliminary and periodic medical examinations of employees, provided that under Article 23, Paragraph 4 of the Labor Code of the Russian Federation is as, um, it's too early. However, it's possible to state that the ministries have stepped up on provision, monitoring, and protection of teachers' health. As for the feasibility of assessing and recording teacher mobility rates, which could be Im implemented on the basis of questionnaire, uh, our empirical research was carried out in anonymity and confidentiality. It was labor intensive because of the teacher's wariness and fear that the service survey data might become available to the school administration. In the early stages of the study, we realized the futility of such questions as those surveyed refused to answer them. Thank you. Victor Yurevich, are you satisfied? Yes, I just wanted to say that I would like to see these recommendations in the text. It's good that you have already uh, you are already using them. As for the study of morbidity, uh, you looked at relation with age, history of employment, gender. So it's easy uh, to trace the, to make a portrait in a small monitor in a small study how often the person was sick. So thank you very much. Thank you, Viktor Yurevich. Now, Slobodchikov Ilya Mikhailovich, your review, please. Uh, good uh, afternoon, dear colleagues. With your permission, I'll change my speech slightly. So I will not go over the formal, will not read the formal part. I'll just share my uh, view of the thesis. When I first saw this paper, I became tense. Uh, I was worried by the bulky name of the thesis. And I had a feeling that there it's made too complex. If one uh, or the other item was uh, under study, it would be easier because there's a lot to research in each case. But after I read the th this thesis, uh, all my doubts were gone. I saw it was a full-fledged piece of research, uh, not only uh, complex uh, some text with complex structure, and uh, I easily signed the conclusion, uh, mentioning the relevance of this work and skill and knowledge of the author in this work. And perhaps the only point which was mentioned already by Viktor Yurevich, and, uh, and perhaps you've heard, of course, the sample in this case should be much bigger because the types of teachers are very there are very many types of teachers and in that sense i i'm not convinced that the data that you obtained uh, however they are correct i don't think they can be applied to the entire population of teachers and that's why I would rather look at this study as a good pilot study, uh, which and the ex experience that can be applied uh, to a much bigger population, and maybe take a look at maybe regional peculiarities, because maybe depending on the working conditions, I'm not talking about uh, the national uh, Teachers. At that, I liked 
the thesis and uh, the, uh, I'd like to mention it's high quality uh, and also some points which uh, I put down as comments or recommendations. Uh, first is about the initial, the first provision. So please, uh, can we take a look at the, uh, uh, can we see the slide please? It's the first provision uh, to be pr uh, protected. So it, the wording is as follows, the universal characteristics of social perception for teacher, school teachers or is prevalence of uh, personal stereotype settings. When I read that, I had a feeling I'm reading a thesis in law. So stereotype settings are regarding their students and their academic performance. Uh, when I read, uh, when I got through the, all these words, I got the feeling that in reality the situation is exactly the opposite. A social perception is understood as complex uh, process of understanding. So this wording calls for additional explanation because here we might talk about uh, disruption of uh, social perception and not and even though we agree uh, with under certain conditions there's a question of uh, uh, how justified is the use of this generalization because as i said already there are very many types of teachers and not all teacher types can be included into these characteristics uh, the second point is one of the conclusions of the thesis, the main uh, subject for academic failure, uh, the teacher interprets his professional, his professional quali personal qualities. I would, I would agree with this opinion, though I have a completely different explanation to it. And we have discussed that when I said that personal uh, features. I agree with this statement, but uh, from the point of so, what are the uh, which elements of the perception process uh, get reduced? Because here there's lots of room for discussion. Next, it's possible to. Uh, trace and explain general trends uh, in the manifestation of emotional burnout in the context of working with different age group uh, students of because even if we look at primary or um, secondary education the uh, age the ages are very different uh, be it uh, primary school or um, s uh, secondary school. So of course the age aspect will have a major influence or impact. So uh, I'd like to uh, you to comment on that. And finally, uh, this is not really a critical remark, but a recommendation. I think the thesis would benefit if the author focused more on personal uh, features of the teachers, maybe it would make sense uh, to uh, provide some kind of personal ca uh, types, some, some, ca uh, some categories. Uh, as for emotional intelligence, we'll talk during the discussion part. And uh, generally speaking, I have to read the conclusion, the thesis by Pronicheva Maria Mikhailovna in psychological maladaptation in teachers of primary secondary school corresponds to the main requirements set by the uh, relevant order and Maria Mikhailovna Pronicheva deserves awarding the degree of candidate of psychology specialty 536 clinical psychology articles 9 and 11 of the above mentioned order has not been violated thank you Thank you very much, Lia Mikhailovich. Your answer, please. Your answers, please. 
dear Ilya Mikhailovich, thank you. Let me thank you for your hard work in reviewing my paper and for your valuable comments. As for your remarks, with which I absolutely agree, let me provide the following explanations. The relevance of assessing derived characteristics of social perception as universal. Uh, of course, I agree with the comment about the usefulness of further clarification of the interpretation given in the first statement, namely the designation of a number of characteristics of social perception as universal. If one chooses from a variety of definitions into universality, it's possible, it's impo use is possible. Of course, we are referring to disorders of social perception common uh, uh, and despite the extreme diversity of teacher types and their reactions, we think it's possible to highlight some common or peculiar uh, characteristics of social perception which reflect violations of the complex process of perception. The question of which parts of the teacher's uh, pr reflexive process are reduced and why. We believe that reduction occurs at the stage of addressing one's own emotional experience. Emotional burnout leads to loss of sensitivity, both to other people's experience and to one's own emotions and feelings, awareness of oneself, one's personality, one's professionally. Significant abilities and qualities contribute to effective performance of professional activity. In our opinion, such reflection includes reflection of professional experience and uh, the experience is an integral part. It allows taking into account the analysis of past mistakes, successful and successful experiences, without which it's impossible to define further goals and adjust one's professional activity. The question of whether it's possible to trace uh, the um, general trends in dynamics of emotional burnout in teachers. In our opinion, this is very interesting, but quite a long and laborious task that requires a different research design a significant expansion of the sample to be able to trace the dynamics of emotional burnout manifestation in teachers in the context of working with different age groups of students. For example, especially for primary school teachers and subject teachers. In addition, it is important to compare the analyzed groups according to socio-demographic parameters. Moreover, obtaining valid results also raises the question of choosing in favor of a longitudinal research method. Uh, and the additional emphasis on personal characteristics of educators, we absolutely agree that disclosure and consideration of personality traits would enrich our study. It should be noted that the study of the contribution of teachers' personality to emotional burnout for, has received considerable attention both in domestic and foreign practice profiling or personality typology in the context of protective and risk factors of emotional burnout is promising and reflects the modern approaches and in a sense a paradigm shift in empirical research. Thank you for this question and recommendation. We plan to further develop this studied problem exactly in this field. We understand that in order to answer this question it's necessary to significantly increase the number of study subjects because our sample only included teachers who had already developed emotional burnout syndrome and professional stress. Thank you. Thank you very much. Are you satisfied with the answers? Then let me give the floor to Nadezhda Dmitrievna Jiga. It's a pleasure for me to talk this microphone. I thought my voice is uh, strong enough. Uh, it's very interesting, was very interesting for me. I listened to different opinions, and this topic is extremely interesting because I'm not only a doctor of psychology and a professor, but I'm also a teacher. I graduated is uh, uh, pedagogical college and Minsk Linguistic U University so, so, interpreter and besides for 12 years I was uh, deputy director and for 17 years I was the director uh, was, was, 
at, of Repub at the Republic of Belarus. And this, that is why this problem is very genuine. And today uh, we have such a uh, strong group of experts. My uh, teachers, my son and my daughter are also uh, uh, doctors. And when I was the director uh, dealing with them, I always, when I was the director, I always uh, noted how necessary both psychologists and teachers are, have to cooperate to deal with this problem. So what Maria Mikhailovna has done is very uh, relates to me. And this is indeed a very serious problem. And uh, so what is, is it will, so she will continue working on this problem in this field because it is endless. And each year is, is this problem is becoming more and more uh, complex. So this increases uh, this d uh, makes professional adaptation more difficult and psychological load leads to uh, psychosomatic disorders, psychological and emotional disorders. And indeed, more than 50% uh, report anxiety, uh, f difficult, have difficulty concentrating and uh, psychological activity and each year as a practitioner I can see that very well it's becoming it's getting worse 83.3 percent experience health problems and 40, 47 percent of cases demonstrate symptoms of uh, pathological disruptions, neurotic disruptions connected with professional activity uh, reported by almost 60% of teachers. And of course, we need both psychologists and doctors both need to work on that. It's also high, so the thesis is highly relevant and so since she set herself the task uh, to uh, describe the uh, of primary and secondary school teachers, so we're talking, the subject is disruptions of social perception. She using all the methods perfectly. And I liked it very much that Vera Gennadina Buligina as the thesis supervisor. Uh, they conducted various ranking and questionnaires. So all so that's excellent. And as a practitioner and a teacher, a psychologist, so this it, it this appeals to me, and I think that will help greatly our future teachers. And cluster analysis, I, in my doctoral thesis, I have used it. And various methods of linear, regressive analysis, binary, longitudinal. So this is just excellent. I like the thesis very much validity of scientific conclusions is secured by the good choice. The thesis was constructed and so the scientific novelty and factors, quoted factors, are also very uh, and statistical reports, comparative analysis, the practical significance is high. It's, uh, results also give reasons can be used to develop educational programs for psychologists, the teachers, to, for stress prevention. I'm teaching a laboratory since uh, my so it's, it's, it's the first post-Soviet state. 
So I run the laboratory with the spread and I work with practical psychologists, practicing psychologists. And here, these, so I'm using all this, this entire set of works, and most importantly, prevention. And what uh, our applicant uh, is working on helps me a lot. The uh, theoretical significance lies in the fact of identifying peculiarities of social perception in teachers' uh, relation to uh, their its relation to emotional burnout, but the factors that lead to uh, psychological mal adaption and contribute is is a is, is I the structure of the thesis Maria Mikhailovna used not only the list of literature 228 sources in Russian but 66 sources in foreign languages. I am very happy, especially when I worked at the uh, uh, Higher Education Committee. I went to Germany as the interpreter with leading, uh, uh, with leading professors and rectors. And you know, they also have this problem and many many interesting there are many interesting results which i have later used in my work that is why uh, so good that you are using for uh, sources in foreign languages a small diversion when i was uh, 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 freud sigmund freud i got uh, to talk uh, about him at an examination. Uh, but um, maybe perhaps you know our Fyodor Ivashenko, uh, he uh, taught at the pedagogical university for 25 years, he was head of the department, and I worked under him for six years when he was head of the department. So, and, 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 so he asked me a question, Nadezhda Dmitrievna, you are a, a foreign language teacher. How can you talk about Freud? He is not like that uh, at all. Uh, read him, you should read him in the original. When I read him in the original, uh, I found that even schizophrenia can be overcome when you're in love, etc. Uh, what I mean is that uh, there's a lot, you can benefit a lot by reading books in foreign languages. And uh, so the uh, findings the author presented in 33 articles and nine um, articles in peer reviewed journals recommended by the Ministry of Education, four of which are included. In the, uh, include the results of the study. So my conclusion is that the thesis by Pronicheva, uh, Maria Viktorovna, on uh, maladaptation in uh, primary and secondary school teachers corresponds to the basic requirements set by the order on the uh, 1118-1 on the order of awarding academic degrees at St. Petersburg University. Uh, and the degree of the Pronicho Maria Mikalna deserves awarding the degree of Candidate Psychology, Specialty 536, Clinical Psychology. Articles 9 and 11 of the above mentioned order has not been violated. I thank you. I liked it very much. Uh, and uh, I'll ask uh, for a copy of the of it for my students. I understand there are no questions and no critical remarks, no questions, no. I see, you see, 
as a specialist, as a practitioner, as a psychologist, I will use it in my work. And I work as practical psychologist. Thank you. It's a pleasure, dear colleagues. Uh, let me present my review, which, unlike creative reviews, is very tr presented earlier. So I would like to present some formal points. The relevance at the moment, clinical psychology aims at a wide, broad range of scientific and practical tasks, not only of clinical but uh, preventive medicine. And in this field, great attention is paid uh, to professional stress and its consequences uh, and high social responsibility and emotional overload. And such pro uh, professionals, of course, include secondary school, primary school, school teachers, representatives of one of the most socially significant. So the study of various psychological phenomena, phenomena connected with uh, and is a very important task. And such important, uh, such is the task of the study and the is the center of this study is the study of social perception of teachers and as um, and of course the uh, the uh, interaction of the is uh, working with uh, children and that is why uh, the study of Maria Mikhailovna is highly relevant since is aimed at uh, of of um, at teachers and is the great to a great degree subject to uh, psychological mis uh, at the same time the thesis is based on latest developments in the field of clinical psychology which focuses on mechanisms of social cognition in normal and pathological conditions the general purpose of the of the thesis is, uh, is representing five task, tasks, which uh, enable the author to confirm the main hypothesis of the study. And in order to achieve this, the author uh, developed a, a five stage program, including several groups of professionals. Thus, I'd like to say that 173 teachers in total were examined and a comparative study of general education teachers of different ages and professional experience. Also, an important criteria for dividing into groups at the final stages was the level of stress and burnout syndrome which allowed us to eventually find out about the role of social perception in the formation of professional stress in general in, in general teachers. And also, I'd like to note the uh, rich, uh, the variety of tools uh, which include um, as authors' personal uh, tools which is also very interesting. I mean these rankings aimed at studying the process of stereotyping and the questionnaire conflict situation for studying the causal attribution mechanism. These are given in appendices, which uh, is of some practical interest. And uh, diverse mathematical and statistical tools and though the sample is as was mentioned though the sample is small for a global can to make some global conclusions sufficient 
for uh, a thesis, a candidate's thesis. So the results are well uh, presented in chapter three, well structured, analyzed, and illustrated. The scientific novel novelty and theoretical significance of the thesis uh, are present in both its theoretical and empirical part in the first chapter based on the analysis of uh, national and foreign literature the concepts and mechanism um, are revealed in a deep and informative way and uh, maladaptation social perception and analysis of empirical stress in this including uh, teachers. On the basis of such theoretical analysis, the research program is built uh, pre uh, pre in chapter two, which makes this study uh, complete. It should be noted that the first chapter is an is uh, an indep has independent scientific value and uh, can serve as the basis for teaching specialties in clinical psychology and. Uh, psychology, professional psychology. Well, the model of interrelation of processes and mechanisms of social perception developed by the author uh, has a scientific value of its own. And in addition, the author was able to integrate the mechanisms of social perception, professional stress, and uh, severity of emotional burnout into a single complex and demonstrate the features of social perception in different uh, teachers of different ages and demonstrate the uh, contribution of social perception to formation of Russian stress in teachers. And, and then uh, I listed the phenomena studied uh, such as managing emotions, emotional response, uh, ex uh, reduced ability to analyze one own life experience, a contradictory assessment. And I think that these phenomena, especially in teachers, are already uh, targets for prevention work with this population. The practical significance, I agree with colleagues who mentioned that in some, that the work has, uh, has, has, um, has uh, end so of this complex uh, scheme, which was demonstrated here, I think they, uh, that out of this diversity of studied psychological characteristics, uh, the author identified the most informative ones, which, uh, at which uh, psychological prevention should be focused, such as hostility and low, uh, low self-esteem, etc. This is validated, mathematic, mathematically proven uh, that these factors uh, make the greatest contribution to the problems discussed in this thesis. And uh, in conclusion, I think that in general, the thesis is written on a high level and contains valuable results and uh, scientific language the presentation of the thesis uh, all is on, on a, all done on a high level. As for remarks, which do not, uh, which I set forth when analyzing this thesis. In conclusion to the thesis, it would be good to see not only a discussion of the author's own research results, but also how they relate with the data presented in the world scientific literature. So uh, you don't have to answer this comment because a similar comment, as I understand, was already 
given by Oksana Vladimirovna, and you answered, uh, you know, they gave a detailed answer also. I think that the clinical examples from the uh, uh, teachers with low and high levels of professional stress, social workers, uh, primary school teachers, uh, teachers working in other spheres uh, could complement and illustrate the results of the study even, even more, so make it uh, even more significant. As for, and finally, as, uh, for further discussion, I'd like you to know your opinion on the following. The purpose of the thesis is to assess severity of mental maladaptation and violations of social perception mechanisms in teachers to identify the risk for um, uh, social uh, emotional burnout. And because of that, I'd like to ask you, is it possible to uh, ask this question differently. Is the study of emotional burnout as a risk factor for mental maladaptation? It, um, well, because uh, Dia Viktor Yurovich said that emotional burnout is, uh, uh, is a subclinical phenomenon in psychi psychiatric maladaptation. Manifested, manifested in psychiatric disorders, psychosomatic violations, behavior disruptions, etc. So what I mean is that psychological maladaptation is is a, a more pre pronounced, uh, uh, is more pronounced and more severe. So don't you think of the, these two points? So emotional burn out is a risk factor of uh, psychological maladaptation, not the other way around. Uh, first, let me thank you for the hard work of reviewing my work. And as for your comments, let me answer the following. So first, uh, I will start with this second uh, comment, of, and as uh, including clinical examples in the text of the thesis. I absolutely agree that including clinical examples in the thesis for each of the compared groups could have complemented and illustrated the results of the study. As for the question of uh, the goal of the study, is it possible to put it differently? The study of emotional burnout is a risk of a factor for mental uh, 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 maladaptation. Yes, it is possible, and we can see that the, uh, the possibility to study emotional burnout is a risk factor. But relying on the notion of maladaptation as a several interrelated phenomenon, health stress adaptation, which due to many external and internal factors can transform in healthy people into a health stress maladaptation. So we included not only phenomenology of emotional burnout, but the effect of professional stress. Thank you very much, Maria Mikhailovna. I am satisfied with your answer. Dear colleagues, let's continue our work. And if you remember, now we uh, have to present questions uh, received uh, during this session. But I understand we received no external questions. And uh, let us give the floor to the thesis supervisor. Dear colleagues, please turn the microphone on. Microphone. Not only as a scientist, but also as a very valuable member of our laboratory. That was a very uh, bulky research. Uh, well, we could not have a larger sample because it was uh, each time uh, we needed to, indiv to use individual approach to, and it's not only about 100 
and 73 subjects, but 173 patients and uh, support in each of them. And so for to provide uh, uh, this, uh, Maria Mikhailovna managed indeed to establish, to develop trust with each patient, but of course she could not use all the information and it would well, it would be possible maybe to make the results more convincing. As for Maria Mikhailovna's uh, growth as a scientist, as a researcher, uh, all the time uh, it was very well planned and she was also very modest in a good sense. She was very modest. She is, uh, she combines well her personal growth uh, with the corporate spirit when uh, dealing with all the tasks of the laboratory be it uh, uh, processing statistics creation of new diagnostic complexes or field trips the multifunctional she's a multifunctional member of our team and so that indeed is uh, the great acquisition. She was, she's a great asset for our laboratory. And working on the thesis, uh, was wor the work was very fruitful, uh, which is not so not that often the case. So I'd like to thank Maria Mikhailovna for such resistance, such persistence when doing this research and I'd like to wish her to continue her research and hopefully she won't leave this subject and she'll continue with this career. Thank you Vera Gennadievna, dear colleagues. Now we have the opportunity to discuss the thesis. Uh, is in, uh, what are your comments? With your permission, so here's this. Uh, so there's one thing about emotional intelligence. I would be very careful, uh, especially looking at pedagogical community. I would be very careful using it uh, for a simple reason, because uh, back. I, I was uh, when I was worked with Tima Lucin, who developed. So we worked in two neighboring uh, departments, and so we ha had a constant discussion about the use of this term, not because it it's not there, it does not because it does not exist, but because for a long time there will be a discussion about the essence of these characteristics and in that sense the word uh, being careful or especially when talking about uh, resistance to stress talking about situations and emotions in all senses of the world but at the same time considering not the not the not controlling these emotions but the emotional factor itself in different conditions in different states that's what i wanted to say and as for the rest uh it uh, it, it's re it really appeals uh, it's a very uh, high professional level and how you, the way you answered all the question, every it all demonstrates the you, that you have a good understanding of what you are doing. So good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you. Would uh, I'd like to support this work because indeed uh, it's uh, written in uh, difficult, tough times. And hopefully you continue this work in the future with your supervisor and the practical significance of this work is very important and my colleagues 
have also emphasized that we all want to support your work. Uh, so to, we want you to continue your uh, work. So take, have some rest and hopefully may this work be a new phase for you in your uh, research and practice. Thank you. Maybe somebody else would like to. Uh, I would like, maybe, as I'd like to say that I also, I like the title of this method very much because the world, the word intelligence, I don't like the, the name of this method very much. And that is why so different collisions can occur here, but still, so we are slaves of names, of uh, terms, and etc., uh, etc. Et so thank you very much, uh, Maria Mikhailovna. This has nothing to do with you. We are all in the same situation. Uh, thank you, dear colleagues. Do you have any further comments? Uh, I see the work, the thesis is good. Then, dear council members, as I understand, uh, this is the end of our discussion. Uh, uh, nobody, we don't have a, any attendees willing to speak. And then I have a question for the to the council members before uh, we sum up and vote. Is it necessary, first of all, is it, do you, dear council members, or Maria Fiodrona, have any questions or remarks regarding the procedure? No. No, all is well. Uh, all is, uh, then let me, then I have a question. Do we, is it necessary to take a break to discuss the results, uh, mute uh, the sound, and uh, or to ask everybody to leave the room, or there is no need for this? No. Then, then, I agree. If such a discussion is not needed, then let's continue our session and proceed to voting. At that, each council member shall give his opinion in public, individual and individually. Is one o'clock sharp? It's exactly one o'clock. Most good time. I put the question uh, of awarding to Pronicheva Maria Mikhailovna uh, the degree of candidate of psychology, specialty 536 clinical psychology, to an open roll call vote. Let me inform you that uh, by, by voting for each member of the council agrees with Article 11, that Article 11 of the procedure has not been violated by the author. But that was also mentioned in, uh, by, in each review. Let me remind you that a decision of the dissertation council on awarding a degree shall be considered positive if more than a half, but not less than three members of the council present at the meeting voted for it according to Article 23 of the procedure. Council member Zesherinska, Oksana Vladimirovna, your opinion uh, on awarding or not awarding the degree. I vote for awarding the degree. Thank you. Rybnikov, Viktor Mikhailovich, Yurievich, I beg, oh, I beg your pardon. I also vote for awarding the degree to Maria Mikhailovna. Uh, thank you, Viktor Yurievich. 
Ilya Mikhailovich Slabotchikov, please, I vote for. Nadezhda Dmitrievna Dziga, I vote for awarding the degree. Uh, I, Chairman of the Council, Shilkova Olga Yurivna, also vote for awarding the degree. To Maria Mikhailovna Pronicheva, <coughs> the candidate of psychology, specialty, uh, clinical psychology, 536. Uh, now, counting the votes in this case is very simple. Uh, let me inform you that out of five participants, out of five Council members, five voted for, no one abstained, and no one voted against. Their decision to award to Pronicheva Maria Mikhailovna the degree of candidate of psychology, specialty 536 clinical psychology, has been made. Uh, we congratulate you, and now it's time for your closing remark. Dear Chairman, dear Council Members, let me use the opportunity and thank St. Petersburg University for the opportunity to present my thesis. The Chairman of the Council, Professor Shilkova Olga Yurivna, Council Members, Professor Shirinska Oksana Vladimirovna, Rimnikov Viktor Yurevich, Slabochikov Ilya Mikhailovich, and Jiganadeshda Dmitrievna for their objective reviews and a positive assessment of my work. This enabled me to understand the significance of our work and make plans for the future. Also, I'd like to thank my thesis supervisor, Vera Gennadievna Buliginova, for her invaluable advice and guidance. Also, I'd like to thank specialists who supported uh, uh, organization of the study at schools, uh, speech pathology and neuro rehabilitation center, special sp sports school and school of Vera, Nadezhda and uh, Lubov. And thank you for your interest to my work. Thank you. Well, we congratulate you, Vera Gennadna. We uh, also let us also congratulate you, dear colleagues. I declare the session closed. Thank you, everybody, for uh, thank you for your participation. Please stop broadcasting.